What's up guys, I'm BTC, welcome back to ARK Survival Evolved, I'm here on the Pooping Evolved server, thank you guys for joining me today, I got a really awesome trick involving the lava in the Cave of the Massive that I'm going to show you, it's really cool, it will allow you to have some super sneaky bases inside the Cave of the Massive, Hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I have been planning to put kind of like a mini base inside the Cave of the Massive. Now, one of the problems is there's lava everywhere and you tend to overheat. Now, right now on the server, there's kind of like a cold front going through. You know how like the temperatures go up and down like into some of the extremes every now and again. Right now, I think we're in kind of a cold front, but normally I would be like overheating. Although I did actually make a pretty good set of gear to deal with the heat. So I've got the Apprentice Ghillie Mask, which has uh, the 23, uh, excuse me, the 22.3, and then the Apprentice Shirt, which is 28. Then I got this, that's kind of garbage. And then I got Mastercraft Ghillie Boots, and I got these from one of the deep sea crates. And I got Apprentice Cloth Glove. So all of that gives me 286. That's pretty good. That allows me to withstand most of the lava cave without like overheating. But anyways, I wanted to put a base in here, right? And I'm like, well, if I'm going to put a base in here, then I'm going to be, you know, overheating quite a bit and I'm going to need a lot of water. So I need to figure out a way to get water in the cave. And at first I was trying to like glitch some of the the pipes through the walls to try to get to the water that's like outside of the cave itself and it really wasn't working but then i thought you know what let me try something i'm just gonna try something completely crazy let's see if it works and it worked look at this if you put an ins oh hold on i got <laughs> dead scorpion if you put he kind of killed, the, the dead scorpion killed my hype. Eh, uh. If you put an irrigation pipe into the lava, it will give you water. Look at this. That pipe is in the lava. But the game treats lava as if it is water. It's basically water that hurts you. That's what the game sees lava as. It's just water that hurts you. Ready? Watch this. Boom. Water from lava. It's hot water. I'm going to bottle it and sell it. I'll make a fortune. <laughs> okay, maybe not. But it's still awesome. Look at that. You can get water in the lava cave. You just have to put a pipe into the lava. Now, let me show you this because I was working on this a little bit as well. And that area right there, that's okay. Like, you could put, a, like, a little bit of a base right there. But that's, like, right next to the entrance. And I didn't really want to have it, like, right next to the entrance. So, I'm like, I want to build it over here. Because I want to build, like, a PvP kind of gladiatorial arena here. With, like, spikes and lava pitfalls and all sorts of cool stuff. So, I'm going to build that right here. And I wanted to have something nearby, like, a little bit of a base. So, I figured this area was like perfect, right? This area would be great for it. Let me show you what I was doing before I figured out the whole lava is water thing. So if you go prone and then you press K, you can actually look through the world, all right? And if I try to put an intake pipe right here, you'll notice that it's not even close to the lava. Like the lava is way, way underneath it right there. So it's, it's not gonna reach. So what I was trying to do was I was trying to glitch the intake pipe into the wall. If you come over here, ready? Watch this. <laughs> underwater. Oh, apparently there's fog outside too. <laughs> Look at it. You're underwater. Boop. 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 Now, you're not actually underwater because... If you notice, there's no oxygen meter on the right-hand side, so I'm not actually underwater. I'm getting the kind of, like, 
you know, the, the sound effects and the, the vision that I'm underwater, but the game doesn't actually treat me as if I'm underwater. So it, it treats me like I'm still in the cave. So I thought, you know, maybe I can put an intake pipe over here, right? Now, there's a couple of, there's actually three different checks for an intake pipe. The first check is that it has to be in water. The second check is that it can't be obstructed by anything. And the third check is that it has to snap to something. So, over here, if you look, it says it's not connected to water. So that's the first check. The second check, if you look right there, it's in the water. It is in the water on the other side of the wall, but it says it's obstructed. Now, I used an RG and I built some pillars here, and I tried everything I could in order to get this stupid intake pipe to not be obstructed. But the problem is, hold on, let me show you over here. Once I found an area where it was in the water and it wasn't obstructed, it wasn't actually snapping to something. So, like, over here, see, it says, hold on, right there. So, can't place stone intake type pipe, no ground or snap point. That means that it's in the water, it's not obstructed, but there's nothing for it to snap to. So, I think I actually can put a pipe here and I'm going to do that in a second but before I do that before I do that I want to show you my other solution which was to build this right here so I built this wooden little platform right here and it goes across and then I built the ramp right here and this ramp goes down towards the lava hold on I gotta make sure that there's nothing over here that's gonna attack me so this ramp goes down towards the lava, right? And if you look, there's actually a wooden ceiling piece in the lava. I don't think the game fully understands that wood burns. Like, the concept of burning doesn't quite... <laughs> doesn't quite enter the, the, the physics of the game just yet. But look, I dropped a pillar from up there, right? And then I put... A ceiling piece on the bottom and it's actually in the lava now watch what happens so the first check is that it has to be the first check is that it has to be in water the second check is that it can't be obstructed and the third check is that it needs a snap point well guess what that wooden piece right there is a snap point so I can put a, a, a stone intake pipe right here ready Watch this. I can put this. I, I don't want to fall in. I can put this right there. <laughs> and now there's water right there. Let me grab the, uh, the, the pipe right here. And I can now attach. It's a little tricky. <laughs> I can put. I can now put water right here. So I now have water coming up from the lava <laughs> what the heck is this this is so stupid whatever it works so now i can get water up here that is so dumb it is so dumb but it works so whatever i don't really care that is so stupid but it works so uh the only problem is is i'm gonna have to mess around with the actual direction of this because I need to where is it right here okay so I need to put oh oh it's gonna go that way oh you know what I can do I can just have this go back I can have it go back that way and then I can just have the water like go over here or something hold on do I have any of the regular ones yeah I do okay so now I can just you know, I can just bring the water over <laughs> over here. The hot water. I can bring the water over there. Now, I think, I think that if I destroy that pillar and, like, the wooden ceiling, the stone piece might get destroyed? I don't know. See, the thing is, is stone pipe doesn't need to be supported by anything. Like, let me, let me show you here. Uh, I'll, I'll show you this. So if I destroy this section right here, this is a, a stone pipe intersection. If I destroy that, that stone pipe still floats in the air. It, it doesn't go away. 
So, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can destroy the, the pillar and the intake pipe might be different. But the thing is, is the intake pipe does need a snap point. So, I, I don't know. It, it's kind of weird. I could, I could test it, but I don't really need to test it right this second. So... But anyways, that's so water from lava. That's pretty cool. Now, the other thing that I wanted to check is I wanted to see if I can get water from over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of all this stuff here. And I'm going to craft a uh, pipe stone. I need to make another intake. Oh, I need more. All right. I need more um, stone here. I hope there's enough over here. I can grab some crystal. Should be plenty. I need, uh, like, what, 25 stone or something like that? I don't need the obsidian. Okay, I have enough. Let me craft that. And I'm going to get rid of all of this obsidian because I don't need it. And I don't want it. I don't need the metal either. I'm just going to get rid of that. All right. So, now I can craft that. And what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to try to get water out of the the outside of the cave okay so here we go um what i need to do is i need to get i need to get on the bird there we go all right so now i need to kind of glitch into the wall and i need to discover where so it has to one get um get water two it can't be obstructed and then it needs to have a snap point so what i'm actually looking for right now is i need to find a section of the wall where it's telling me I need a snap point. Because if it says I need a snap point, that means it's already found water and it's not obstructed, okay? So like right here, where is it? Um, like right here actually looks like it works. So I can't actually see where it is. Um, requires, it's obstructed. So requires ground or snap point. I think I can put it like right here. You know what? Um, let me try into this corner here. So no ground or snap point, right? All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a couple of pillars here, right? We're going to put up a couple of pillars and some ceiling pieces. And I'm also going to need some ladders i don't want to build ramps because it's just kind of annoying all right so uh wood and la ladder did i not i don't think i learned ladder hold on ladder yeah i never learned it okay there we go all right so let's build oh my god i can build 74 of them uh, let's just build like six of them that should be fine all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to place this like close to the wall but I, it needs to be far enough away where I can still put where I can still put uh, a ceiling piece up there. So let's put uh, let's put it right about. Let's try to square it off. Let's try to put it right there. I think that should be good. Let me see. Yeah, I can still place the ceiling piece there. Okay, so we're gonna build this up. Oh man, look at it looks green. It's because <laughs> that's weird. It's kind of gross. It's like it's, uh, it's like it's all, um, what do you call it? Uh, what is it, like toxic or polluted or something? Oh, yeah, because of the green light, the, the crystal stuff. All right, so let's put this up on top of here. Uh, if, if it, there it goes. Okay, perfect. All right, now, oh, you know what? I could actually just, <laughs> I could have just used the RG to fly up there, but whatever. All right, so we're going to grab the ladder now. And we're gonna put, oh no 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 no, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, it looks like I'm spewing toxic waste or something everywhere. All right, so now let's get up here. And yeah, I can't I can't put that there. But hold on, let me see if I can get the intake pipe here. Where is my intake pipe? All right, so now I gotta try to get it. Requires connection to water. Needs a snap point. Okay. So, 
Right here is good. I just have to get it. Oh, darn it. So right there is good. But the problem is it doesn't, it's not able to snap into it because the ceiling, see, yeah, see the, the, this ceiling isn't close enough to the wall. So I think what I need to do is I need to tear down the pillar and then I need to move it closer to the wall. Yeah, let me do that. You can hear it raining outside. It's taunting me. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any water through the wall, so that was a bust. I tried moving the pillars to a bunch of different locations. Also, if you look over here, if I go K mode and then go outside the wall, there's actually no water here. So the water ends like right about here. So any point like from here over, there's no water to try to get to anyways. So I'm gonna actually destroy this one. So the water starts right about here and then it goes over to around this area. And I tried placing pillars and ceilings and getting the pipe to snap into it. And um, it just, oops, it just wouldn't work. So let me show you up here. So like it's obstructed and then like if I can find, like it requires connection to water. I'm sure if I messed around with this for like quite a while and I like, spent a lot of resources trying to get, you know, the pillar and the ceiling pieces in the exact perfect location. It might work. It might work. But that's a lot of time, a lot of resources that I just don't feel like trying to trying to figure out. So I'm going to tear this down. And you know what the thing is is I don't need it anyways because I have lava water. So <laughs> I don't even need it. Like, I have a fully functioning water source right over here. Uh, I just wanted to see if I could get water through the wall, and it didn't allow me to, unfortunately. Now, I did go and change this ever so slightly. So down here... Man, <laughs> this is... So, I gotta be so careful when I come down here. So down here, what I did was I put a cross piece. So you can kind of see it. it. It might be a little bit difficult. But there is an intake pipe that is connected like exactly, uh, actually that's not gonna work here. There's an intake pipe that's on the little ceiling piece that's down there. And then right on top of that is a, uh, a cross piece here. So let me, let me show you this here. So if I put this, you can, kinda, you can kinda see where the cross piece is, like it's down there. And then I put the vertical pipe up from that side uh, that way, I just don't have the cross piece up here because I just, I don't like how the cross piece looks. Like, if you just put it there, like, it's got all this extra stuff and it just looks ugly. So, I have that down there now and this is all nice and clean and I got my water source up here so I can now put this. Oh my god. <laughs> You're kidding me. You are kidding me, right? You are kidding me it's not gonna let me put it through the still all right so <laughs> that's all right that's that's an easy easy fix that is a super easy fix let me get rid of this and let me get rid of this without falling to my death oh my god all right hold on okay straight stone pipe then we're gonna put that one up one more and then i can put this over all right that's Totally easy. Actually, you know what? It's probably better that I have it higher up anyways because the stone pipes can actually be destroyed by scorpions. Nothing else in the cave. The spiders... Uh, wait, no. Maybe the spiders can. I think the spiders and the scorpions can destroy the, the pipes. But the bats can't and the dillos can't. But I, I know for a fact the scorpions can, and I believe, I believe that the, the spiders might be able to as well. So this will keep it out of the reach of the, uh, the scorpions, but <laughs> this is so cool. Lava water. It's the hottest, hottest new thing. Ha ha ha. Oh, God. Look at that. That is great. And then... I can put a tap right here if I want, but I'm not gonna put that right there. Uh, I, I'm gonna try to get this pipe all the way back here. And it looks like 
Uh, I should have no problems because it doesn't seem to be anything obstructing it. But that, that is awesome, man. That is awesome. All right. I added more of the stone pipe. And boom. <laughs> there we go. I got a nice nice little water tap. Let me let me refill my canteen. Oh yeah. Whew, you got to be you got to be careful though because uh you know, it, it is a little warm. It is a little, a little bit warm. It might you might burn yourself. You got to let it cool down a little bit first. <laughs> Man, that is that is so awesome. That is so cool. So now the plan is to build Oh, I am starving. Let's eat up some of that. So now the plan is to build kind of like a little mini base in here. Oh man, that is gonna be that is gonna be so cool. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be hot in here because of the lava, but it's gonna be cool because of the water. <laughs> oh, that is cool. All right. Anyways, I need to uh, I need to also like extend this bridge, and I gotta figure out how exactly I'm gonna build on here because I wanna like build from here to there i think i can do the same thing that i did over here which uh was pretty simple which is i can just put like a foundation here and then i can put a foundation on the other side and i can then bridge the gap like some of these are not going to reach like this is not going to reach to that there's just no way but this one can easily reach to that one that one can easily reach to that one so i'll just have to put a bunch of like foundations and connect them with like ceiling pieces and stuff but oh man that is <laughs> that is so cool this is so cool i can't wait to build in here well i think that is going to be about it for today guys thank you for joining me hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit that like button subscribe for more art content thank you for watching remember always always blame the controller because it's never your fault